Hello everyone. This is Dr. G. Karthik Reddy, Associate Professor in the Department of ECE, MLR Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. And the topic is Gaussian Random Variable. And today's concepts are Gaussian Random Variable, Relay Random Variable. What is Gaussian Random Variable? A Gaussian Random Variable is also known as random, uh, Normal Random Variable. It is a type of random variable that has a Gaussian distribution. It is one of the fundamental and widely used distributions in probability theory and statistics. Okay, how it is defined? Gaussian random variable. Okay, if in pictorial form, it is very clear to understand that x is a random variable, x is a random variable, and y axis fx of x. This represents probability density function. And the, the Gaussian, the uh, par Gaussian representation is it is in the form of bell shaped curve bell shaped curve and it is symmetrical with respect to mean it is symmetrical with respect to mean then the formula represents that uh, this is symmetrical with respect to mean when you go the extension you will get the right side mu plus sigma mu minus sigma mu minus sigma this is a mu is a symmetrical with respect to mean Okay, the curve is this is symmetrical with respect to mean. At mean, you are getting the maximum value, which is 1 by 2 pi sigma x square. And the definition tells that the probability density function of a Gaussian random variable is given by 1 by square root of 2 pi sigma square. Sigma square represents the variance of the random variable. Exponential to the power of minus x. x is the value assigned to the random variable x. Okay, and mu is the mu is called what mean mean or expectation of random variable and sigma x square just now i discussed that is variance okay then sigma represents the square okay square root of variance square root of variance is called standard deviation you can also call that square root of variance is called standard devi deviation definitions here is the expected or average value of the random variable that is mu as per the definition next variance a measure of how spread the values around the mean. Okay, how spread the values around the mean. Okay, if you are taking this as an instant. Okay, for example, if you are taking a class of 100 students. Okay, all the students may not have same height. Okay, height may be changed. Okay, as an average, we can take the deviation from the with respect to mean. That is mu plus or minus. Okay, deviation with respect to mean. Okay, now this is called the definition of gaussian random variable with respect to density function density function of any particular random variable okay this is a formula it is also known as pdf of gaussian now same definition i discussed okay same key properties the gaussian distribution is symmetric about the mean okay you can check that it is symmetric about the mean it is symmetric for example if you are considering mu is equal to zero it is symmetric about the mean uh, next the graph of the PDF is a bell shaped curve. Bell shaped curve. Okay, both the uh, left side or right side, we are having the same amount, same amount of percentage of variation. The graph of the PDF is like 68, 95, 99.7 rule means if you are taking the, okay, this is a bell shaped curve. Bell shaped curve. Okay, the first, okay, this is symmetrical about mean. The first variation with respect to mu plus or mu minus sigma. Here you are having the total, which is 68% of mu plus or minus sigma. If you take the next value, next instant, that is mu plus or, okay, this is mu minus 2 sigma, mu plus 2 sigma. We are taking the next instant. Next instant, if you are taking, okay, next instant, if you are taking, okay, if I am spreading this, if you are taking the next instant, it is mu minus, mu plus 3 sigma, mu minus 3 sigma. If you substitute the values in x, you will get the percentage values. This is 68% of the value lying between this range and remaining 95% value lying between this range. 99% of the curve value is lying between here, okay. Now next. Okay, we'll tell with one an example. Okay, we'll tell with an example. For example, okay, if x lies between minus infinity into infinity, okay, the probability of x greater than one ten having the 
unit alpha. Then if they ask in the question, what is it lies between 90 to, okay, this is 110, 90 to 110. For example, this is Gaussian curve. Okay, this is before 90, this is after 110. Okay, if it is after 110, it is alpha. Total, the area under the curve of Gaussian function is always 1. The area under the curve of Gaussian function is always 1. If total is 1, then if it is alpha, then it is also alpha because both are in symmetric in nature. Then what happens to the fx of x? Okay, what happens to the remaining 90 to 110? What is the probability? 1, total is 1, 1 minus alpha minus alpha, which is equal to 1 minus 2 alpha. This is a final answer for the interval between 90 to 110. You can take this as short. Next, if you are taking fx of x dx equal to 1, then the range, okay, then the range if you are taking this, okay, then it is symmetric. Okay, I discussed just now, this is alpha, this is alpha. So if you want to calculate the interval between 90 to 110, then you are going to get 1 minus 2 alpha. Now next, okay, the so sum of two independent Gaussian random variables is also Gaussian. This is the application of central limiting theorem. Central limiting theorem tells that when you take the sum of independent Gaussian or in any other random variables, the resultant PDF is also Gaussian. Resultant PDF is also Gaussian. This is very important in the signal analysis. Next, the standard Gaussian random variable. The standard Gaussian random variable, we can tell only when mean means if the this is a Gaussian curve. This is a Gaussian curve. This is a x. This is fx of x. Here the mean is symmetrical. Okay, the mean is symmetrical. Here mu value is 0. When mu value equal to 0, what is the Gaussian? We are having the formula 1 by square root of 2 pi sigma x square e power minus x minus mu x whole square by 2 sigma x square. Here is considering mu x equal to 0, sigma x equal to 1. Okay, this notation is also known as okay, you are writing the normalized. You can also denote using n of n represents normal of mu x comma sigma x square. Here mu value is how much? n of 0 comma 1. You can also represent this as n of 0 comma 1. Here when you substitute it, then what you are going to get the resultant? Here z is equal to what? z is equal to x minus mu x by sigma x. Okay, here z, z equal to x minus mu x by sigma x. This is also called the normalized value. And next, that is only the denoted x is equal to x is a random value of the random variable. And mu is the, what is that? Mu is called what? Mean. And sigma x is called, sigma x is called, this is x minus mu x by sigma x. Sigma x is a standardized random variable. Okay, this is the definition of standard Gaussian random variable. Okay, same thing we have discussed here. Next, if you want to calculate CDF, cumulative distribution function. Cumulative distribution function, what is the definition? If x is a random variable, if x is a random variable, fx of x is equal to what? Minus infinity to x, small fx of x, dx. The same thing they define in terms of z. Okay, same thing they define in terms of z, in terms of standard Gaussian random variable. Standard Gaussian random variable. Okay, the same function, okay, this is complex in nature. You can't, so then we are going for approximation. Approximation of CDF, you can go by using ERG function or complementary. This is called complementary error function or Q function. Okay, this complementary error function you can go or by using Q function also, we can simplify the CDF of Gaussian. This is the definition of complementary error function. Error function is equal to 2 by root pi 0 to x e power minus t square t. If you simplify further, you will get the final answer of that. That is fx of x. This fx small capital fx of x represents what? This is CDF. CDF of Gaussian random variable is equal to 1 by 2, 1 plus error function of x minus mu by square root of 2 into. This is a representation. Same thing you can apply by using gamma function. By using gamma function also, we can apply. Then you can get the simplification of that. You will get the answer. Okay, gamma function we can't directly use in CDF of a Gaussian random variable. You can use Q function or 
complementary error function for that okay for move uh, for example movements of gaussian random variable for higher movements for higher order degree modules this gamma function is more complex that is why they are opting for q function and error function okay q and error function are the approximations approximations of cdf of original gaussian and where we are using this gaussian okay especially in the signal processing we are using gaussian noise in the communication channels follows the gaussian distribution because noise always the noise is in random in behavior okay random in behavior it may be have some uh, distribution function okay it's at particular instant some distribution function the summation of all the pdfs summation of all the pdfs of all the uh, one or gaussian or any other random variable results as a gaussian okay this is a one of the most important application that application name is called we are calling that as central limiting theorem okay we can judge some of the predicted noise signals by using gaussian okay that is why signal processing we are using okay we can also use it in the machine learning algorithms for different models like linear regression or gaussian new base okay these are the some of the applications where we are using gaussian and even you can use for economic or statistics for modeling the stock returns and other economic indicators also we can use gaussian in the physics and engineering also we can use especially in the central limiting theorem just now i discuss implies the many natural occurring process approximate the gaussian okay any random sequence whatever you are having summation of all the pdfs will results as a gaussian that is the most important application where you are using in the engineering concepts and we can do the some examples related to the gaussian Okay, here is given the example as x is a Gaussian random variable with mean equal to ten and standard deviation equal to two. What is asking in the question that find the probability that x takes the value less than twelve. X takes the value less than twelve is asking that. Then you have to use the x is less than twelve. You can use the mean is ten. We can use the standardized one basic definition x minus mu x by sigma x. Here the x value is x less than or equal to 12 means x value will be up to 12. x equal to 12 minus 10. 10 is what mean. Mean value is 10. Standard deviation is 2. Then z value will become at x equal to 12. Z score is equal to 1. Okay. Then you apply the standardized CDF. Standardized CDF from the okay. You are having standardized CDF. You can use this formula or you can use this formula. You can apply. You will get the resultant answer. Okay, which is zero point eight, zero point eight four means eighty four percentage you are going to get for the first question. Now second question, it lies between eight to twelve. It lies between eight to twelve. It lies between eight to twelve. Again the same. Okay, we can write the formula you are having P of this one. This is a one of the property of uh, CDF. From that you can do it. Okay, same procedure you have to follow it. And if you substitute the values, you will get the resultant. For the interval eight to twelve. Now next third one, they given in the question that find the determine the value of small x and the resultant answer is given. What is the value of this x is asking in the question? Okay, same scenario you can follow it. Okay, just now I discuss. Okay, so just now I discuss that z value. Z is symmetric on both sides. That is why x is equal to mu into z. Okay, z z is equal to what x minus mu by sigma x. Here is asking x x is equal to mu plus z into x. Your x value is how much? We don't know it. Next mu value is ten. It is given in the question. Next z value. We calculated the z value for this for standard at this one. Z equal to z. You can substitute z value. We got how much? One point six four five into mean value is two. And if you substitute it, then you will get x value. Okay. This is the way you have to calculate it. Thank you.